Thank you, Director Strobridge. Uh, Director Ross, do you have any questions or comments? Um, so I, I do have um, just just a couple of things. Um, a lot of a lot of folks have asked to have this separated out. Um, the resolution, and and I just want to make sure I'm understanding. The resolution is for us in order for us to achieve full day kindergarten. It's not a we are going to build this and this and this. It is we're trying to achieve full day kindergarten, and these are the ways that we're doing that. Is that correct? Well, that's the way I look at it. I look at it as one plan. You could look at it as five separate items that lead us to the same goal. That's the way I look at it. Okay, thank you. That's how I'm seeing it. I just want to make sure um, that I understand correctly. Um, the other thing, one, one concern I do have is there was talk today, um, I don't know, I Director Bertone, it, it may have been you, um, who had spoken about increasing the size of the schools, and that concerns me. Um, I don't want to build super schools. I don't want to have 600, and, and that I may have misunderstood it. I, my, my point is, is I don't want to have larger schools. I don't, I think we're losing that community feel that we're looking for if we continue to um, increase the size. Um, I do know that we need to add space. Um, excuse me. And finally, um, the, I agree with Director uh, Strobridge in that this resolution is going to, to move this discussion forward towards full day kindergarten, towards increasing um, the level of education that we're providing our children here. I live in West Bradford. I am a West Bradford resident. I don't want to, you know, destroy that environment. I think it's a beautiful space, and I, I love that. Um, the only other question I guess I have is there is mention of West Bradford Township and not the Bradford Heights location. Is that um, something that could be discussed in the future? I think we have to wait for West Bradford supervisors to um, to let us know. We have, um, I respect West Bradford supervisors and I respect a decision that they would make I would not want to build a school where West Bradford supervisors did not want it to be. I would not want to take open space from West Bradford citizens. Keep in mind that the vast, major the vast majority of people who live in any township will not have students in the district and they may value their open space over a space that is already owned by the district and already has a school building on it. So I want to, I do this out of respect for West Bradford citizens and West Bradford supervisors because we have not been given any explicit information about the Bradford Heights location. And we, that this gives us a step forward to go through the planning commission process. And so that's why it reads the way that it reads. Thank you, I appreciate the input. Thank you. Director Ross, uh, Director Houghton, do you have any questions or comments? Director Blust, can you hear us? Yes, thank you. Do you have um, any questions have or comment. comments? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, putting 1,800 students at Bradford Heights me is not a viable option. We aren't listening to the community residents who live there and travel those roads every day. We have just not discussed the Title I schools and no decision has been made about what we would like to go forward with that. We don't know if we're going to be an East or West District or a South North District and we need to have those decisions made. We need to discuss split schools. How many residents know that Shimmer Creek Springfield Manor and East Ward split students after fifth grade. Are we going to put those students back together? We need to fix the buildings we currently have. We need a well thought out plan. Lastly, I cannot sign a blank check as the cost. I find in closing Dr. Uh, Director Berkey's idea of breaking this large project into smaller projects a viable idea. Thank you. Thank you, Director Blust. Uh, Director Houghton, can you hear us? Yes, 
Yes, I can. Do you have any questions or comments? Um, I do have some comments. I've been involved with, with discussions about a five, six grade center since I joined the board two and a half years ago. And I know that the board has been working to move forward with a five, six grade center before I joined the board. The Braxton Heights location has been up for consideration for the past two years. During that time, I've tried to keep an open mind about different options. I've had conversations with constituents who have wanted to share their thoughts. I have had in person meetings with constituents as well as taxpayers outside of the region I represent to hear different views and concerns. I have toured the Bradford Heights location on multiple occasions. Different options have been proposed throughout this time, but none have seemed to gather as much traction with the board and the administration as Bradford Heights location, as well as additions to our elementary schools. I have toured those elementary schools that are candidates for expansion. These elementary schools need additions, and they need them now. Schools such as Beaver Creek and West Bradford are beyond capacity, and without additional space, we will only continue to overcrowd their classrooms and take away from the educational experiences of these students. All DASD students deserve an excellent education experience regardless of which elementary school they attend. In addition, full day K is strongly preferred by a majority of parents in the district, but it is something that we keep putting off. Adding to the elementary schools is not going to get us full day K. Only a few of the elementary schools have been identified as good candidates for construction. I get asked often, when are we going to have full day K? The earliest we could potentially have full day K in the district is four years from now. That will not help most current parents in the district. But if we do not do something very quickly, we are pushing back full day K yet another year. We keep asking our principals and our teachers to just do more with what they have. If we, do, if we continue to do nothing and, and make no forward progress on this issue, our children are going to be the ones who suffer with overcrowded classrooms that only get worse year after year. Thank you.